Tra la 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 through the gate after killing your doggies. Oh wait, I'm not where I think I am. Okay, come out of here, and you got a choice. If you go down here, there's a door just off screen there, but it's locked, and you haven't got your lock pick yet, so you can't do that. I want to go back up this way. Hang on a second, they. Yeah, they changed it. Basically, on this, the one the annoying difference, one of the annoying differences on this game is you don't get a key item anymore. Um, basically, in Resident Evil One, Resident Evil Two, Jill had a lock pick, Chris had a lighter in one, in Resi Two. Claire's got a lockpick, I think, and Leon's got a lighter. But blah blah blah, go through. Get a cutscene. Nemesis pops up. Mr. Teethy. Say cheese. Somebody needs a better dentist. Holy shit. Brad will kill, be killed by the nemesis. Spiky spiky through mouth. Um, get thrown around. Now you have a choice over what to do. Um, I'm a little bit cheeky when it comes to this. Because you can actually, on easy, you can kill the nemesis. Um, I'm gonna be... You don't, when you fight with the monster, you fight with the monster per se because you want to do what I'm gonna do and you want to go, fuck you! Run around him, go to Brad's body and search Brad's body. You will find his uh, card case. Don't search it, just grab it and run the fuck past the nemesis again. Don't try and fight him unless you're really in the mood to kill him. Um, and bail into the police station. Basically, the law of suit with nemesis he will never follow you into a save room, ever. Because safe rooms are exactly that, safe. He'll bang on the door here a couple of times, but you can completely ignore that. He's not going to break it down, not at all, not in a hurry. Go to the side and grab the three green herbs. Now this is where the story, the timelines of the stories get a little bit confused. I never fully understood it, but Resident Evil 3 is meant to be two hours before and two hours after Resident Evil 2. Don't combine those herbs. Um, the part that I never understood was, you know, all the, the doors here, like every single one of them is um, board, uh, boarded up. Like that one there is boarded up. So is this point two hours before or two hours after Resident Evil 2? Because I get really confused by it. Even that door's boarded up, you know. It comes to Resident Evil 2 and those doors aren't boarded. They're, you know, completely free. But, eh, it's something to brood over later. Grab the handgun bullets off the desk. Just be thankful. You don't actually have to uh, do a lot of the crap in here that you do with um, Resi 2. Go to the computer and use the stars card. Um, basically, this is where you grab it off Brad's body. But I'm going to be cunning and I'm going to grab the one Jill's card as well. Password for the safe is given to you. Mine's 4312. Might be different with you guys. Um, but that's why you grab the stars card. If you don't grab Brad's, you have to get Jill's and you have to backtrack to the computer. So, it can be quicker to do it that way. Go through this door. You won't find Marvin Brannock because he's not there. But you will find a fuckload of zombies in this room. Ah, uh, yeah, bollocks. There's nothing in here. Let's go up this way. Right into the arms of a waiting zombie. Get off me. Completely forgot that they were there. I thought they were on the other side of the room. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's not. Shit, there's two of them. Where'd you come from? Oh, there's three of them. Ah! Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. Oh, crap, I've been bitten. Kick his head in. Boot. Bastards. Gah. Okay, that completely caught me off guard. Um, now you know where they all are. I don't. Oh, yeah, no, here's Marvin Brannock. He's on the floor. This is the point where he's been bitten. So this is obviously before Resident Evil 2. But the problem with... Um, the, the whole storyline confliction now is the doors are boarded, but how are Leon and Claire getting around? You know, it's one of those things that just completely confuses the fuck out of me. Uh, grab Marvin's report, grab the shotgun shells off the table, run out of there, go over here. There's no green herb in the corner. Go through this door. Um, it may be wise when you're playing the game, this game, to listen very carefully. Because uh, if you don't listen carefully, you can actually be caught off guard when, say, the nemesis breaks through a window or something. Um, but you'll be able to tell. Grab the blue jewel from that little thing there. I filled my inventory. Oh, crap. Um, go over here, and there's a little red light. It's locked with a number based. And 4312. Uh, there you go. It'll open, and there's the stars key. But the problem I have is I've got a full inventory, so um, I'm going to resolve that.
No, I've done the wrong thing. Normally I don't make three green herb mixes because it's a waste, but I've got a full in band. I don't I'm not too fussed really. Grab the emblem key out of the drawer. It just means I don't have to backtrack now, that's all that is. Go up here, go around here, go through this door. If you played Resident Evil 2, you'll know where this is gonna take you out. It takes you out of the bottom of the staircase. Um Zombies, yay. Kill the zombies in the corridor. I've actually got I'm running quite low on machine gun ammo. I should probably reload when I go to the save room. Or well, better yet, I might actually swap out for the uh, shotgun. Because the shotgun's got more kick. And I want to save the assault rifle for later too. Kill the zombies. Go up here. There's another one around the corner. Right, take that zombie down. Go into... This is a save room. Go in here. I'm going in here because I need to dump a load of crap out of my inventory. I'm also going to get rid of the machine gun now for the shotgun. Uh, check these things, because sometimes you find gunpowder in them. How am I going to find gunpowder? No, game doesn't like me today. Grab the file from behind the typewriter. David's memo. I don't care. Open your chest. I'm going to do a quick bit of rearranging. Uh, you can get rid of the stars card. You can get rid of... Uh, get rid of the blue jewel for now. Don't think you need it. Get rid of the handgun bullets for the shotgun. Take your shotgun out. Uh, right. Quick bit of inventory. Crap done. Uh, la, la, la. This is why you grab those two green, her two red herbs, because you find three green in the police station. I've now got two uh, red green mixes already. Ditch them off. Uh, oh, crap. Wrong button. I want to get rid of that three green. Ah, uh, get rid of the machine gun. Uh, the only reason I'm keeping that first aid case with me is because I'm a little bit cautious, probably a little bit too cautious. Uh, that usually doesn't leave my inventory. Um, that's how cautious I can be on this game, because uh, it's ridiculous. Um, I'll explain why in a bit. Let's go up here. Is there anything in here? Nothing suspicious. See, in Resident Evil 2, this is a big room. In Resident Evil 3, it's not. Search the locker in the corner. Ah, oh, there's my gunpowder. Yay! They did deem it necessary to give me gunpowder. I like you. There's only one, though. Dump that off. Keep the stars key with you, because you'll need that in a second. Have I got the stars key? I should have the stars key. No, yes, I've got the stars key. Ah, uh, gunpowder, go away up there. You'll fill up your, your chest very, very fast in this game if you don't mix things. Um, now you've sorted out your inventory, go back in the corridor. I'm going to go grab Jill's stars card real quick. Well, slurping down a can of energy drink. I will show you where to go now if you didn't get... If you didn't fight Nemesis, if you're on hard, always run away from the Nemesis, never stop. Don't even consider getting Brad's card. Go this way, and I will show you where to get Jill's stars card. As you can hear, there's zombies in this corridor. I'm not quite sure how far away... Oh, they're miles away. Go over here. You can kill these guys if you really want to. I'm going to just because... Shits and giggles. They're pissing me off. I, I like to... I'm a genocidist, if you will. I just killed three of them in one shot. Fantastic! That was quite a good shot. I didn't even realise there was that many of them there. Uh, oh, tits. Oh, uh, go away. As per usual, always reload your sh uh, weapons after firing them manually, because it's easier. I'm just going to run around the corner a second. I just want to double check. Oh, look, a green herb. A red herb. Yay, grab the red herb. Red herb, good. Red herb, very good. Grab the red herb. As you can see, that door's blocked. You want to go back up this way. Go around the corner. If you've played Resident Evil 2, you'll be sat there going, what the fuck's going on? This is completely different to, uh, you know, Resident Evil 2, where Claire and Jill, uh, Claire and Leon had free reign, but now they don't. Go into this uh, evidence room. Check over here, and you will find Jill's stars card on the table at the back. Uh, that's where you grab her card if you didn't get Brad's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, go through to the back. Don't think you... Yeah, there's nothing you can do with the fireplace. It doesn't let you do it. Go over here. Search the corner. It's going to be a bastard. Nope. Okay, sometimes there's shotgun ammo in that corner, as there is with Resident Evil 2. Run around this room. Uh, looks like there's a recent accident. I can't remember if there's any files in here. I don't think there is. No, you literally, you just come in here for Jill's card as the case may be. Go back out the door. Uh, the corridor I was just in, with the zombies, sometimes you will find dogs, sometimes you won't. It depends how the game feels. Go up around the corner. 
We're now going to go back to the save room to drop off the Red Herb and Jill's ID card, and I'll meet you on the other side of this door so we can do just that.